Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 18 of Let's Play Europa Universalis 4, Third Odyssey for Finland, all of that fun stuff. But most importantly, guys, I need to tell you guys a, a little bit of a truth. This is the third time I've tried recording this, because we are about to embark on a war of Elysia. Now, I did say I would keep them in, but I decided to delete them because of the amount of salt on display. I was very annoyed that something in this, that, that for some reason, the AI were just breaking down... And, you know, the Elysia was being Elysia and just being stupidly powerful and I couldn't do anything about it. So I spoke with the mod maker and I wondered if it was, for some reason, if Elysia just had, um, some reason Elysia just was stupidly powerful. Like, well, if there was anything about Elysia that for some reason gave them a stupid edge that I, you don't really see as much when playing as them. Because don't get me wrong, Elysia is stupid power, stupidly powerful when you play as them. We all know this. I'm not going to pretend that's not true. However... They're not, they're not always as powerful as they seem to be. So that's, uh, so go up to, there we go. But yeah, so I essentially asked him, and he gave us an idea. So we're actually going to go do some, we're going to swap some stuff up. And we're going to see if this works. And if it works, cool. So we're going to swap to defensive ideas. Uh, we're going to throw the nobility of bone with the uh, primacy of the nobility. Give that extra power there. We're going to seize land from the Skraelings, which will give us some land. We're going to seize land from our people. No, we're not going to do that because that will fuck us up. I'll just accept that I'm low on land for a little bit because all that does is... I don't really give a shit about any of that right now. Like right now, that's not going to impact me as much as you know it could do. We're going to take extra mill points and our point. the whole go uh, goal here is to essentially try and buff up ourselves before the war. Uh, we're also going to put ourselves as a mill focus. So again, I'll be... Like I said, I'm trying to be clear and uh, transparent with you guys. This is the third attempt at recording this. Because Alicia just, for some reason, I understand they don't like me. That's fine. Like, they don't like us. That is fine. You know, it makes sense they don't like us. But we're going to try and ally just essentially, you know, we're even going to try and ally these guys and try and do that. And then we're going to have two of our diplomats working full time on improving the relations with our allies. And what we're going to do is we're going to really fucking hope that for some reason Alicia just sides against declaring war on us. Though our allies of Jokoya are an absolute dickheads and don't seem to want to help me, you know, no matter what we do. We'll even offer them military ally, ally, uh, access. We'll, we'll do whatever we can to keep Jokoya on side this time. Now, like I said, I will point out what mistakes we made and what I did differently and why I'm doing it. Like, I'm not going to pretend that everything I recorded didn't happen. It did. Uh, and we deleted it. I deleted it for a purpose. Uh, you know, that purpose being I was ashamed of how salty I was. And by ashamed, it was, it's less I'm ashamed, more just, oh, I was salty. Like, oof. Like, that's like the level of salt on display was chef kiss, definitely. It was, uh, <laughs> I haven't been that salty since the uh, Elysia incident uh, where my men got trapped and I couldn't do anything with them. I think that was the last time I displayed as much salt. And even then... That wasn't at the game. That was just at my own. That's like, like, that was more of just something I couldn't. For some reason, the game had changed how it worked for a split second, and I got black flag like that. That was a different level of salt completely. But yeah, what we're gonna be doing is we're essentially gonna be trying uh, something recommended uh, by the guy uh, by uh, um, the mod maker and see if he had. Because I asked him for a little bit of help. I'll be straight up with you. I asked for a little bit of assistance. I, I've always struggled with the whole Vinland Elysia fight. Because for some reason, we have to fight, and for some reason, I always fucking lose it. So, oh, Relentless Drill. Okay, we're up to four. Okay, so we may actually have a chance of being equally, equal morale with the Elysians. However, equal isn't better, which is the biggest problem, obviously. Uh, let's keep giving Chikoya, um... Uh, let's keep trying to get trust in them because it could be a tr there could be a trust issue why they refuse to help us because they broke their alliance with me the tw two times i've tried this and uh oh yeah also our navy is currently busy you know discovering stuff so we can't even use our navy to get war score against them yet when it gets back we'll of course be using it uh Braggy's new tale. A famous Braggy has created a piece, a new piece depicting the grand adventures, looting, raiding, and fighting southerners and scrailing from the highest regards. 
has enticed the youth to the ways of the Vikinger. But given that we can't go a Vikinger, technically doing click in that is pointless, but um, at the same time, I, I don't have the money to not click it due to, you know, being a little bit busy. Now, if we can get up to military drill, this war may actually be completely and utterly doable. But the fact that we've had to go to such extremes really shit says a lot about the game. And by the game, I mean the fact that Elisa just really does have some good luck. Wow, yeah, that extra 25% um, liberty desire is really, uh, they're finding it very attractive. Um, yeah, Chakoya, let's keep getting trust in you. I can't get trust in my new alliances, so that's a shame. We do have one last ally, but I'm not going to make them an ally. That's just... Uh, you can transfer trade power to me, and we will vassalize these guys because we can. Uh, impose new tariff, definitely. Give me that mercantilism, boys. We're not making as much money from it as we could do, which is a shame. Uh, hopefully, I can get this. I think I'll probably be only recording one part, and there may not be a part tomorrow, guys. I'll be honest. I am at work for a long time tomorrow, and I do not know if I'm going to have time to record any more today. After all my... Attempts at recording today and being a little bit salty. So again, I apologize wholeheartedly. I hope you guys understand. I hope you guys uh, I wish I would have show it could have shown you but like I said I didn't want to really release something where I was as salty as I was. It's, it just doesn't come across right, doesn't it? It's, it gives the wrong vibe okay, You go see with the actual Navy yeah, We're gonna move our Navy together and we're gonna prepare to fight Alicia so, I'm going to look at navies of just my rivals for a change. Alicia has 13 heavy ships. They always have more heavy ships than me. What the fuck? Okay, I guess that means um, some more heavy ships then. Because for some reason, I don't, haven't built enough heavy ships. So, I'll have to wait and see. So, in a moment or two, we're going to get declared war on. Which, let's be honest, still makes some semblance of sense. Chikoya's max relations is 89. Because they do not like my relations. They do not like the type of religion I am. Ah, because they're neighboring me. They like me even less because we're neighbors. That makes sense. To be fair, that makes a lot of sense. I just... Just don't 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 let Alicia win. That's all I'm asking. Jacoya, we cannot let Alicia win. That's just no. That's just not what we can do. If we can get to 61, I'd be very surprised. Like wholeheartedly, I would legitimately be surprised. We can get military drill though, that would actually make our life a lot better. We also got Vinlandic Sardis, I forgot to read this. Just like Leif Erikson, whose tales are remembered for the ages, so too, so does the new blood venture into the new lands, claiming their new place among the annals of Vinlandic history. Which is, uh, well, our prestige is doing a, it's doing something, and it's, it's doing something pretty. Like, I mean, uh, yeah, betray of trust. Why have I already got so many favors with you? I make 0.9 with you a month. Holy shit. It also looks like I could probably just give these guys money and get them into a position of alliance. Okay. So Alicia should be declaring war soon. Okay, we have now got an equal amount of characters with both Denmark and also... Um, What's it called? Uh, uh, Alicia. Assess for military access for Portugal, just to try and build their relations up there. Still don't want to be friends. No one wants to be friends with Alicia. Uh, poor Vinland. Like, poor Vinland, just no one likes us. The closest European is Castile and Portugal. I'm going to just cancel that, just, just for the sake of... I might be able to get Castile on side. And that is more of a win than... The Portuguese. Even though the Portuguese have a far bigger navy. 
Okay, we made it to 61. That's surprising. And we're not going to get as many good things as I wanted, but... Consider me pleasantly surprised. Yeah, at least he's going to have to eventually want to kill someone. Damn it, I can't put it to friendly yet. So we'll ask for military access. Well, like I said, we'll try and build up any little bonds we can between myself and Castile. We get Castile on side. That's it. We have, uh, we're sorted. Alicia will not declare war on us with someone like Castile on board. Which I guess is kind of the point. We need, we, we just need big ticket allies. Ah uh, yes, two people up there will eye me. Well, you're not, you're not fucking Castillo, so go away. Uh, we can't intervene for uh, on a war on their side. I'd love to help you, Castillo. You know. Oh, like that currying favors is pointless. We would get like we get like no favors from them. Uh, so when they have 50 opinion of us we'll say it's a friendly and we'll see if they want to be friends we could get stupidly lucky oh, so the Iroquois integrated all of their men and we're, we've nearly got okay guys I think we might have avoided the war by taking the strategy recommended to us by um, the uh, maker of the mod so guys go let him know how cool he is you know, go give the mod uh, some love. Because preventing this war will actually, in the long run, be the best thing for us. We are not going to get an alliance with um, Castillo. So, Elysia is just going to keep getting stronger. And we're going to just have to accept they're going to try and war deck me at some point. We're losing great power status. Oh, shit. We don't have printing press. Damn. Um, well, shit happens. Can't do much about that. That's you, right? No. Which one's the... the co oh, you're done. Cool. Let's uh, get there. Like I said, we're just going to shoot out as quickly as possible. There might have been a little bit better, but I will. It's fine. I've already picked. Okay. Heretics are being converted. Everything's there. Uh... Okay, we're only 26 away. We're, we're not going to get it. There we go. Military drill. We now have a morale of 4.74, which should. Okay, they're not paying for their morale. But yeah, we have now got slightly higher morale than the Lysians. All it costed us was everything. I guess. I wish there was something you could give, like a, like something you can do with the estates that give you more power instead of them. I like give you more land, like you take land from them through one of the things, but they get privileges in exchange. I feel like that's something that hasn't been done or touched upon, but I feel like would make sense. I'm also very worried to just take my, get rid of like this advisor and get him with a cheaper one because I don't want to, you know what, for now we will. I need that money coming in and being spent on ships and essentially any way to keep myself alive and in the fight the danish just keep getting stronger of course they do and uh my ability to invade scotland and uh, ireland is dwindling because i can't think i can't uh claim a reason to fight over there without having first taken ireland uh, iceland <sighs> I'm just getting. I'm. I'm having some very bad luck late, ladies and gentlemen. Like, legitimately, like this game is no. This mo like I am. I like to consider myself decent at U4. I'm not the best anymore. I, well, I'm not. I was never the best, but I'm not as good as I used to be. Definitely. Like I used to be a lot better than this. 
So I'll definitely admit that I'm uh, not rusty, but I think with every new update, I, I don't play as much as I used to, and we have all those issues. But most, what I'm, what I'm trying to really say is, I'm the struggles I'm having are f like very particularly f seem to be related whenever, whenever I play Vinland. If you go look at any Vinland campaign, I've always had an issue with the Elysian War, and it's always because I never, I never think hard enough, I never strategize better. Uh, we'll maintain our uh, diplomat with uh, uh, Castile for now. Just on the off chance that they decide to love me. We'll tell them that we're friendly and we'll see if they want to become friendly. And then in which case, best friends with Spain. Though I don't understand why Spain is so navally shit. Like, Spain. <laughs> why are you so navally weak, my friend? Hey, our colony up here is done. Which one is it? It's you, which means we can now claim here. So we can now get ready to attack Blackfoot. Blackfoot is allied with these guys. So we need we need, we need one more province over here. So I think for you, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go there, so I can then clear, like so I can declare one Blackfoot, take those two, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Seizing land really is not the best right now. Mostly because knowing my luck, they'll all rebel in a place where I don't have a, I don't have any semblance uh, semblance of an uh, like an uh, uh, like a force to stop them. Three more ships. Oh, no, we'll, we'll just do two. We'll just do two. We'll get up to fifteen. Now again, I apologize. Like I said, I'm going to continually apologize because I feel like it's just disingenuous. But at the same time, like. There was a like a legitimate reason it wouldn't have been interesting to watch saltiness is f saltiness like watching someone who's salty can be really fun but like it was a level of salt that I, i'm not proud of so we'll uh hopefully you guys understand completely and then you know we'll uh we'll just not talk about the level of salt i had uh, so you're done uh, we need to go there you need to become my little bitch uh because i have uh, decided i'd rather you i've now decided that vassalizing you is what i want because why not Great. Uh, a dilemma that I don't really want to choose between. My Just my type. Yeah, we're going to try and focus on our tech again. Yeah, Jacoya, can you just give me some money? Oh, you've only got 24. They have 25, so. Eh, what's a little bit of loan, eh? What's a little bit of a loan? I'd really like Elysia to have some issues, but they just no one seems to want to, like they don't know like no one seems to want to cause them problems. They don't want to seem to go back to Europe. Like to be fair, why would you want to go back against the Ottomans just yet? That's a little bit like suicide, but you know. I'll offer some knowledge sharing over there. If that colony's done, which means we pick the col Okay, so we've got three colonies, a fourth on the way. Uh, you're an important colony. You are now next to Blackfoot, so I can recall you willingly. Gonna colonize there so I can try and get south, because like I said, I wanna I wanna I, I don't want Castile to get too much land either. We are so close to being friends with them, but they just, it's, it's so close. It's one of those moments where it's like so close yet so far. Um, yeah, we'll take that. So we've now got the brig, which means that my navy does indeed need to be upgraded, but we'll, uh, we'll pay off our loan first. So, we could attack Blackfoot now and kill both, integrate both of these provinces. So that's a 9 and a 7. Yeah, my borders up here don't look the best, but... Technically, they're working. Well, if at least you're not wanting to attack, I'm gonna not turn off my fort, but we'll, uh, we'll turn off our army for now and make some money. 
That way we can repay our loans and then do what I do what one of you guys originally commented, which is what I was trying to do before every time we get keep get kept getting attacked. Holy shit, my loans are expensive to pay back. Oh, the loan was two nine eight. Okay, the loan was a lot more than I thought. Fucking hell, we get we get big loans. Oh, son of a... All right, we got some separatists. I should have ex I should have been paying attention to that, but I was more paying trying to pay attention to uh, other stuff happening. They'll succeed. That's fine. We'll destroy them. We'll go from there. We'll give them more power for now. I really don't. I don't really. I really don't want more rebels. Yeah, this uh, thanks to uh, just correct. The strategy is working beautifully. Someone a diet. You want me to convert there? You want me to own new god no, and you want me to colonize there. That I can do, because that is actually something we want to do anyway. So note to self, colonize there. As soon as any one of these are done, we'll colonize there. I'm just gonna get a different guy. Uh, I'm actually gonna go full frontal with a powerful general. Oh that hurt. That hurt a lot. That hurt so much that I'm going to make him into a general so I can get him killed. Holy shit. My admin is going to suffer for a little bit. That's okay. Admin was made to suffer. Kept Alicia at bay, which is the big thing. They've, they're up there. They're, they're getting stronger and stronger every day. And they're also declare they're also now integrating more natives. How do you guys not hate Alicia? How does Alicia not hate you? More accurately. We got it. We got the alliance. Trustworthy allies. Beautiful. And uh, we'll have two uh, you know, now I'm gonna pay to have these. You know, I don't wanna. Let's not improve relations with my vassals anymore. Let's give this guy 25 gold. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alicia just got big. You guys can both be upset. I'm not giving over you, you fucking land. When the fuck did I do that? Apparently I did... Okay. Oh, missionary maintenance cost. Ah, oh, fuck it. It's... I don't really care. It's not causing me any issue, to be fair. Oh, yeah. Last lies you. Got fire right. Quiet subjects. Create a grand fleet. Dominate, tra uh, dominate trade. <sighs> Could do the next one, but I think I'm going to focus on tech. Okay, at least he's got some... Particularist, that's not a problem for them. Particularists aren't even. Particularists are never a problem. They're just a nuisance. Right. I think what we're gonna need to do is gonna need to take out one more loan. Get the printing press. So now tech will be the correct price instead of overpriced. Pay off our loans and go from there off our army maintenance keep yeah keep trading south do it okay if this king dies and you know they have a less aggressive king that would be lovely however with our um, uh, alliance overseas now we should be fine I'm actually also gonna curry favors because the sooner, the sooner as we can get the uh, Castilians to trust us utterly, the sooner the Elysians will have a proper war whenever they declare war on us. Like, it won't just be a, ooh, we, you know, you're a war with me and I'm a war with you. It'll be a proper, proper war, which is exactly what we want. A proper war keeps us in the game, essentially. 
But unfortunately, guys, we're actually going to have to end this part here. Again, I massively apologize. I will not let this happen again. I will not try to do this again. But like I said, if there's anything that I feel like is un not worth being put on YouTube, I will let you guys know. And I will be con completely concrete and cr clear about it. And, you know, I'll never try to hide it. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. If you doubt it did, please do follow me on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a comment, and share. Most importantly, please check out the mods. All of them are down below. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys then.